car anymore. Oh, tell that story that you were telling me about your dad when he was driving. Well, it's just that you were talking about, well, I, I mentioned Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the Forrest Gump types. When my dad was a, uh, when he was a taxi driver. Yeah. You used to have to, uh, sort of do, y do your bit for the local area. Oh, God. By taking the, uh, the yeah. Forrest, the Forrest yeah. Gump yeah. people to, to Blackpool. Yeah. Is that what they're called now, the Forrest Gump people? <laughs> Is that what the, uh, the organisations that support them are? <laughs> for them to <laughs> refer to A like mini bus with <laughs> exactly. that, uh, Life is a box of chocolates. Yeah, exactly. com. Well, oh. Forrest Gump type. Uh, it yeah. must be, so you work with these people. These it was, pe uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the people with learning difficulties. Difficult yeah. yeah. And they used to get fired. Coming home must have been a busman's holiday. <laughs> 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 so he got five of them in the, uh, in the cab. Yeah. And they had to go to Blackpool, and four of them were really good, you know, behaving themselves, didn't mess about, weren't fighting and stuff, but there was one who was just causing loads of trouble and they couldn't control him. Oh and what you've got to be able to do with people like that, you don't want them to get stressed out because it's, it's not good for them. It stresses them out and, and you could end up with a bit Thanks, of- Thanks, Dr. Carl. <laughs> you could end up with a bit of a riot on your hands. <laughs> so, so he thought, I'll nip this one in the bud right now, and he pulled up just on the outskirts of Blackpool, and, um, he took the one out that was causing problems and put it in a wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologise. He oh, did what? God. Oh, He God. did it for the good of the others. He put oh. it in a wheelie bin. It was having a good time. He thought it was one of the rides. <laughs> Can you stop saying it? <laughs> Him. Yeah. He, he, you know, he was having God. a good time, was and and he once he calmed down, my dad went back and picked <laughs> him up, and it, he was fine. He had a good. What time. he left him in there the whole time the others were in Blackpool? No, he left him there not not the whole day, probably about an hour and a half. <laughs> in a wheelie bin. In a wheelie bin. Why couldn't he get out? Because like his arms were trapped on the thing. Some of those <laughs> one. What he tied him up? No, do you know like when because he was a big fella, and like he, he managed to get him in so his arms were down the side like that, so it was he was a bit trapped. Wasn't and he screaming and crying and stuff? He was making a bit of no noise, but it, do you know what I mean? What you feel so <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but anyway, that's I didn't really want to talk about. It. He just brought it up because of Forrest Gump. Did, did you did, do his you know family know about this? Is this the first time he, they'd have he, heard about this? He didn't get asked to do it again. Because <laughs> <Well, laughs> he, he had another he had another problem similar to it where he had a, a little minibus <laughs> and it was his job to take a load of old women to the bingo hall and yeah. it was miles away. And, um, he took him there, there was no problem, about, about ten old women in a, in a minibus. One of them was causing trouble. <laughs> 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 so he pulled over it. <laughs> no, right, so he took him there, uh, everything's fine, he dropped him off, they had a lovely night. Yeah. Right, they had a lovely night, won a bit of cash. Coming back, it's a bit of a late night, and they all started moaning at him, going, I wanna be dropped off here, take me there, I wanna be dropped off first, I've gotta get up early, blah blah, you know, my husband's expecting me, I'm already late, take me here first, take me there. And he just pulled up. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, said, get out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he made them get out, and they all called for taxis. <laughs> they charged that company who was meant to be taking them home in the minibus, and he got the sack. Jeez. Well, a similar sort of story. You can't be dealing with it when people don't sort of just calm down and, like, solve the situation. Yeah. They're just all like, I wanna be dropped off first, take me here first, take me here. Yeah, so he oh, acts like a madman. <laughs> 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 Good. Oh, that's right, great. We've got, uh, we've got to crack on, haven't we, really? We've got Says uh, so much. Yeah. Yes, uh, Nick Drake, a song for the ladies this week from the album Brighter Later at the time of a city clock. That's Goodbye. it. Right? Yeah, Goodbye. See you next time. Bye.